Hi everyone, it's Stu here from 3B and just a quick update on the issues that some Samsung TVs are having with regards the iPlayer not actually working. Now this seems to be affecting uh, Samsung TVs, smart TVs that are manufactured between 2012 and 2015, so those particular models. Uh, the reason being is that the security certificate on those TVs has expired and hasn't been renewed because there's not been an update pushed through that has the new security certificate. So the iPlayer app just refuses to work. If you're experiencing those problems, the first and obvious uh, thing you should try is to update your TV. If you have uh, automatic updates, it could be worth just worth just forcing an update uh, but if you don't have automatic updates turned on it's best to sort of look for an update um, that's relatively easy to do um, you just go in the settings and uh, you go all the way down and, and look for those so that's pretty straightforward on how to look for an update um, so but if you have it automatically turned on it should work pretty soon uh, if you don't um, if that isn't working for you then there is a chance you're in with a small number of sets and I say actually a small number it's 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 quite a few too many to be fair um, that um, we'll have to wait until next year and Samsung are just saying early 2020 um, and the models that are affected are appear on my uh, left right <laughs> they will appear here you'll see them here so if yours is one of those models and your iPlayer isn't working then unfortunately you're gonna to have to wait until Samsung have figured out a fix and they're just saying early 2020 so that could be anything up to the end of the end of sort of winter February March even up until April so who knows certainly with it being Samsung really who knows so unfortunately there is going to be a number of you that are not going to be able to access the iPlayer um, over the Christmas period and perhaps beyond until Samsung has fixed it. But the first thing to try is to force an update or to make sure you have automatic updates turned on. Uh, if you haven't already um, and you don't really mind fiddling with your TV a little bit then you can turn it on, off and then force an update doing a manual check. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I've got a million and one videos that show you how to do that, so please check those out. And best of luck. Um, it's really unfortunate. This isn't the first time Samsung have made a balls up of stuff. It's one of the things we tend to expect somewhat. Anyway, hope this helps. I hope you're managing to get it fixed. I hope you're not one of those that are really badly affected and won't get anything until next year. The list of models, as you'll see, are on my right. Yeah, that's my right. And uh, yeah, if you're one of those, you're probably going to have to wait till next year. That's me. That's me for today. Thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this even remotely useful. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click the bell. Thanks again. See you soon. And uh, yeah, take care. <laughs>